Good evening, welcome to the 2022 Buffer Middle School Band's Winter Concert. My name is Josh Williams, and I'm the director of bands here at Buffer Middle School. What you will see tonight is a culmination of what these students have been working on since we began back in August. These students have put in a lot of time and hard work to prepare for this evening, and I want to thank them for ramping up their efforts during rehearsals over the last few weeks. Seriously, in the last week or two, they just hit another level, and it's been awesome. When you arrive this evening, you may have noticed the artwork on display in the gym lobby. Our art department is currently having their art show this evening until 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Uh, after this first group performs, I encourage you to go out to the lobby and browse some of the artwork of our talented middle school students. We have three separate performances for you tonight. Before we begin, please remember to silence all electronic devices and refrain from talking or moving from your seat while a group is performing. Our first group is the BMS Intermediate Band, joined by our BMS Cadet Band. The majority of the Cadet Band students started on their instrument this fall and have worked at a fast pace to be ready for tonight. The music they are playing is at a higher diff difficulty level than we were in our method book, and they have done a fantastic job picking up on a lot of new concepts in a very short amount of time. Our Intermediate Band meets in two separate classes daily and are separated by instrument families. We have a woodwind and percussion class, and we have a brass class. These students are just in their second year of playing. Since they do not rehearse during the school day, they miss out on how to play as an ensemble. And luckily, many of them were able to stay after school twice last week to rehearse as a whole ensemble to prepare for tonight. We will begin tonight with First Christmas March, arranged by John O'Reilly. First Christmas March introduces students to the ideas and concepts associated with a March style that is commonly found in band. You will hear a few holiday carols passed around the ensemble with a strong percussion presence leading the way. We hope you enjoy First Christmas March. While our percussion gets set for the next piece, 
Uh, our next piece is the uh, ever festive Feliz Navidad, arranged by Paul Lavender. This piece features uh, heavily our percussion section, adding a Latin percussion beat. This piece challenged our students, especially with the counting, uh, with counting more advanced rhythms, and we've had a lot of fun learning it. This is Feliz Navidad. has been in our folder for a long time and was something that we were going to perform during our Halloween trip to Riverton and Newmarket that was canceled after basically uh, everyone had the flu. Uh, the students really grasped onto this piece and it is the perfect ending to their portion of our concert. Mechanical Monsters is a composition written by Randall Standridge. Mr. Standridge writes, Mechanical Monsters was born out of my love for classic, mon classic monster movies from the early 1950s and 1960s. In this work, the sounds of metal and gears are used to overlay a repeating plotting groove that suggests something shambling its way across the darkened countryside, drawing closer and closer to the unsuspecting city dwellers that are completely unaware of the havoc that is about to be unleashed on them. Happy holidays, everybody. Sounds like a lot of fun, all right? Uh, basically, it's a piece about a large robot coming to attack a small village. We have Lucas Johnson playing the ratchet part, and we have Jaden Calloway on the very popular playing two metal things together as loud as possible. Our wind players add steam, hisses, and other effects, and we hope you enjoy Mechanical Monster.
All right, percussion, start getting all of your stuff that you need to move there. Leave the small toys there because the next group will start moving that. Uh, this concludes the first portion of our concert. Let's give our cadet and inter intermediate him one more round of applause. We are going to take a short intermission while uh, this group exits to the bleachers and our next group quietly sets up. The word was quiet. Make sure we're quietly setting up. Uh, during this intermission, please take time to read the concert program if you received one. On the back, you will find a few items that may interest you. A QR code to our band's Facebook page if you're not already a member. A reminder to update your email as well as a reminder to sign up for our remind text uh, that we send out weekly. Most of these are intended just for parents and students, but I want to make sure that our parents are able to receive current information. Parents, I send emails at least once a week, mainly on Friday, so please make sure you're receiving these, uh, this form of communication. Also, be sure to check out our art on display in the lobby, and we will see you after a short break.
All right, here we go. This band seated before you is our concert band. It is made up of seventh and eighth grade students that are in their second or third year of band. This group meets daily during second period to rehearse and have worked hard to put together tonight's performance. We're gonna begin with a piece called All for Hanukkah, written by Nicholas Forte. All for Hanukkah takes the traditional festive dance spirit of Hanukkah and puts it into a composition that our students have enjoyed. There are syncopated rhythms throughout the piece, which has challenged some of our students, but they have been doing a great job. Here is All for Hanukkah. This group uh, always looks for a challenge to keep me on my toes and uh, challenge me to pick music for them. Uh, I think on this next piece they would agree that we, we, we delivered on that. Uh, our students would probably agree that the most challenging pieces are not the quick tempo marches and dances, but the slower, more lyrical styles. This genre does not easily forgive wrong notes, counting mistakes, or intonation problems. This is a style that needs to be mastered, but it does take time. I call this piece our work in progress because there are so many aspects that we are still working on and we will continue for the remainder of the school year. This piece is called December Sky. December Sky was written by Eric Morales and is dedicated to his young daughter. He was inspired to write it while watching her look up into the night sky one December evening and look at the twinkling stars. We begin with our clarinet section setting the tone and then the rest of the band joins in. We've been working on dynamic contrast, balance, blend, and intonation and they've come a really long way in the last few weeks. This piece, like many lyrical pieces, has minimal percussion parts, other than the sporadic suspended cymbal or crash cymbal. This piece ends as we place twinkling stars in the nighttime sky. This is December Sky.
I'll let her clarinets uh, breathe, I think. You're good. You're doing a good job. All right. Uh, before we get into our last piece, I just want to take a moment to give a plug for private lessons. I uh, emailed a few weeks ago uh, area te or teachers in our area, and I cannot recommend lessons enough. This is a mis or there is a misconception around private lessons. These are not things that students that are behind or can't play uh, do. This is actually for students that are good and they want to get even better. Lesson instructors focus on the small details that we cannot get to during band rehearsal. And students that take private lessons are often some of our best musicians, students that are doing honor bands in district and all state. Uh, if you're related to sports, a lot of athletes, even if they're fantastic, they still take separate lessons to get more direct instruction, like in pitching uh, or batting. If you want more information, please check out the email that I sent, or you can email me and ask questions. Their final piece this evening will take you on an epic adventure. Based on the legend and lore of the ever-elusive Yeti, Robert W. Smith's abom abominable snowman chase takes us on an adventure through the Himalayan mountains. The composer uses harmonic and percussive effects to create a soundscape that stirs the imaginations of both the audience and performer. Listen carefully for the opening footsteps of the Yeti and brace yourself for our race through the highest mountain range in the world. These students have really pushed themselves on tempo and our percussion section has been phenomenal working through creative rhythms. This is Abominable Snowman Chase. Includes their portion of the concert. Uh, let's give them one more round of applause. And again, if 
you to give us one more short intermission while we uh, do a little set change, and then we will have our final group, our symphonic band. Don't forget we have art on display in the gym lobby, uh, and we will see you shortly.
All right, our final group tonight, our group tonight is the Symphonic Band. This advanced group of students are all eighth graders and are playing at a high level. Considering that the majority of these eighth graders started virtually in front of a computer in sixth grade, I am truly impressed with what they've been able to accomplish uh, while being in our middle school. This group meets daily during third period and we have a lot of fun rehearsing together and we mostly stay on topic in our class discussions. I would hope you would agree we try to stay on topic. All right. Uh, I gave these students challenging music to prepare, prepare for tonight, and they have really stepped it up over the last few weeks. I am proud of the work they've put in to be ready for tonight. This first piece uh, they will be performing is Bobsled Run, written by Lloyd Conley. Lloyd Conley vividly captures the feeling of the cold wind in your face as you careen down a bobsled course, getting closer and closer to the edge of the track on each turn. The magic of winter is evident in this captivating work with some technical challenges in the woodwinds and an over-the-top low brass feature. Be sure to listen for the percussion features at the end of each major phrase. Here is Bobsled Run. Before we begin our next piece, I want to take time to think and recognize just a few people that helped make all of this possible. Uh, part of what makes our band program so successful is having a positive support system in our Buckhorn cluster. We are lucky and blessed to have a wonderful support system, Intermediate Band and Cadet, cadet Band. We have a wonderful support system of administrators, faculty, and staff, and I just want to say thank you to all of those uh, in attendance tonight for your continued support of our band program. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to the wonderful music educators that we have in this community. Our students are lucky to start with Miss Mary Ellen Hovick, sitting over there at Riverton. <laughs> and 
at Riverton and Newmarket, uh, and then they're with me for a couple of years, and then they get to jump right into one of what I think is the uh, one of the top high school band programs in our state with Mr. Jacob Souter. I am blessed to be able to work with these colleagues to uh, call upon when I need something and just to kind of talk out through some stuff. Uh, and I know I'm not just speaking for my, myself, but all of them when I say uh, we know how lucky we are to work in this community together. Uh, we know what we have and uh, we know that we've got some great stuff going on in this community. Uh, Newmarket and Riverton had great concerts. Riverton's was last night, uh, Newmarket's was last week. And the high school band has their winter concert this Thursday at seven o'clock in the high school gym. So we hope to see you there. Uh, I want to give a quick thank you to the parents that have taken the lead in different areas for us this year. Some have even taken on multiple roles to make sure that our students are taken care of, and it greatly helps as we continue to build our band program. From volunteer coordinating, to uniforms, to chaperoning, working in the concession stands, preparing and planning and setting up, and cleaning up a middle school dance, moving equipment, and just asking, hey, what do you need help with? Uh, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you to all those parents that have volunteered uh, their time, uh, including volunteering tonight. And thank you to those parents that will volunteer next semester because we will need you. We've got a lot of stuff happening in the spring. Uh, I look forward to more opportunities to uh, have you come in and, and help us out. And lastly, our students are only, in, uh, only successful in music because of the support of parents like you. Parents, they may not always tell you this, but on behalf of your students, thank you for the investment you have made in your child's music education. Students, let's give your family and your parents a big round of applause. I, uh, I cannot tell you how important your role in music education is. I feel like I need Ms. Hovick to come up here and, and, and preach to us about how important music education is. Uh, if you want to see our band programs continue to grow in this cluster, please be a vocal advocate for music education in our school system. Contact the school board, post pictures and videos to your social media, and tag our school and our school system. We have almost 600 band kids in our cluster. That's not normal. Like, we have almost 600. Clap for that. We know what we have here, but we want the rest of the school system to know because we know that we're very blessed. Uh, I'm gonna pull, throw in a real quick hashtag, our students need an auditorium, or our students deserve to have an auditorium. For their second piece tonight, the symphonic band would like to present their lyrical style with a piece entitled At Twilight. The composer created this piece as a reminder that we live in a world of chaos and noise. During the holiday season especially, many of us are pulled from one place to another without any chance to appreciate all that we have. This piece is meant to be a reminder to take some time to stop, recharge your batteries, and experience the quiet, tranquil feeling that comes around twilight. Please enjoy at twilight.
And before we begin our last piece, uh, we have some major student, student accomplishments to acknowledge. This is one of my favorite things that we get to do. Uh, first, we had 34 of our band students selected for Madison County Honor Band. Madison. Madison County Honor Band is a collection of the top band students in our school system, uh, just middle school. Uh, these students will join other top middle school band students uh, in January for a performance after just two days of rehearsal, their concert being that Friday evening. Of those 34, two of them placed first chair in their section. Those students, stand up when I call your name, were Hayden Williams on clarinet and Casper Campbell on Barry Sax. And then with the other 34 students, stand up. We've got some in symphonic band, some in concert band, and we've got an intermediate band student that is what y'all gonna see. Next, we had two of our clarinet students selected for different honor bands. I've sent an email out about this. Uh, both students attended rehearsals and had their performances last week. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we had Hayden Williams on clarinet selected for University of Alabama in Birmingham's UAB's middle school honor band. And we had Courtney Ocutt uh, selected and participated in the University of Alabama's middle school honor band last week. And then, right when we finish, uh, parents, if you don't mind, we need band kids to help move all the equipment back. Uh, parents that volunteered to work uniforms, uh, bow ties, and, and vests and cummerbunds, you'll be in that direction too. Uh, also, we've gotta move some of the percussion stuff out through those doors, so just kinda let them get through, because um, sometimes they won't stop, they'll just keep running you over. Uh, band kids, make sure you put all of your stuff away. Don't just leave cases and binders in the floor. Make sure your vest gets to a parent. Uh, your bow tie gets to a parent, uh, camera buns as well. Uh, and if you take any great pictures or videos of tonight's performance, please email me or post them to our Facebook page. We're always looking for stuff for our yearbook. Um, look at those people up there with the uh, great view. Uh, show, send those videos to me because, yeah, there we go. I see them, okay? All right? Uh, we put them in our, in our band room and we put them in the yearbook. Uh, our final piece. Are you all ready for this? Yeah? Okay. Our final piece hasn't been a favorite since they were introduced to it. This is not your traditional end of the concert piece, uh, but it's been a lot of fun to work on during class. The composer writes, in this work, I have reimagined the jolly old elf as a warrior of the winter wastes. The familiar tunes of Up on the Housetop and Jingle Bells are transformed into a war cry for the incarnation of Santa as he navigates the snowy desert with his eight mighty reindeer. On Christmas Eve, he fights his way across the unforgiving terrain in time to bring toys to all the good children, leaving a path of destruction and candy cane carnage in his wake. It's a lot of fun. This piece opens with a narration by trumpet player Sam McFarlane and then takes off. We hope you have a wonderful holiday season this is Santa the Barbarian.
Let's give all of our students one more round of applause. Excellent job. Students, tomorrow you will not need your instrument at school. So, take it home tonight. They all heard me say that. Take it home tonight. They all heard me say that too. Take it home, take your binders home, make sure everything gets safely moved. Percussion is in charge of percussion. Everybody else with chairs and stands, all right? Thank y'all. Have a great evening. Thank y'all so much for coming.